Good morning, RC fam. What's going on? It's Sunday morning. Got up a little bit early today. Got outside to uh, shoot some video for you guys. So, uh, I got in the mail yesterday the new Trail outer portal covers for the FX24. And they are sweet. They've got the usual top-notch trail fit and finish. I forget how much they weigh, but... Uh, they look nice. I'm also switching out to some different tires that I had already mounted up. Here's the body. Pop the cage off. Um, the little tabs that hold it here and here, the ones in the back, uh, just pop off real easy when you start driving it. So it got to be a little bit annoying, so I took it off. And then what I also did on my body is we all know it's the clipless uh, version is what I did is I snipped the back two off just a little bit. I left them long enough so they still line up in the holes, but these two back ones no longer lock in. And the reason why I did that is because <laughs> it's hard to stick your fingers up there, you know what I mean, to un unclip it. So I just left the two front ones on and then uh, it's a lot easier to pop the body on and off. Um, so yeah, this is phase two of mods for this vehicle and I I oh the other thing I did also is this past week I did get the uh, metal gear upgrades from FMS so yesterday when I installed these I also swapped the metal gears in however I just saw on Trio's website that they now have some hardened metal gears for the 24 here so they're a lot more expensive than the FMS ones but I would assume that they're probably using some better material but that being said let me uh, let me get it uh, put together and I'll show you how she does oh before I forget also had a few more things come in the mail these popped in the mail yesterday as well the new little guys tires these things are pretty sweet I don't have them any wheels to mount on them yet and then a couple weeks ago I did get these ones in the mail had some black rhino wheels that I mounted those up I haven't tried them yet but uh, I will and then definitely try it on on the FMS 24 and then of course some other ones from Injora just have so many damn tires and not enough wheels to mount them all <laughs> all right let me get this ready and then we'll go for a run all right here we go so this added weight really made a big difference on how this vehicle performs you know now it actually crawls very well very you can get a little bit more technical on your climbs Good way to counterbalance that uh, top heavy hard body that it has. did have to do a little bit of track maintenance again on Friday. So I think these outer portal covers with the oil in the shocks, at least for me, has made a huge difference on this rig. It is, it's fun to drive, you know. Some people still not into it quite as much, but 
Next to uh, driving my Betty, I think this one here is my favorite rig to tool around with, at least for the moment. See, like on right here before, I don't remember if I had it in my last videos, but here, when it would drop off, that rear end would always just bounce right over. Uh, whereas now, you know, those counterweights definitely help keep that back end planted. This is another uh, another good test that I have here for suspension setups, tire tire grip, but also suspension setups. You know, this little rock is only about a foot in length up, but the incline is pretty steep. And then, of course, it has all the little nubs and stuff that can uh, push suspension up. And only a few of the rigs that I have can make it up this without any issue. Let's see if I can get it with the Betty. I mean with the FMS 24. Oh. And it plants it. You know, these tires are pretty awesome. I've run these on my Panda. And they've always worked really well. Boom. And that's what I mean too. When I tried this one without these portal weight covers, never in a million years could I have gotten it. With the two speed in high gear, even that struggled because it would just always just plop back over. But you know, now with these counterweights, this vehicle is pretty damn awesome. I got a funny story yesterday me and my wife went for a hike it was gonna be one of my hike and drive videos and got up in the morning we had everything set loaded up I was taking my my TRX4 uh, Jeep Wrangler to go on this hike got up to the spot and uh, <laughs> I forgot my radio I was so pissed but uh, you know decided to go on the hike instead with no rig and as usual my wife kicked my butt so <laughs> that was too funny but here we are on the decline and same thing definitely without the counterweights here as soon as it barely starts coming down it's always ass over but Here, you know, you can see it definitely wanting to grip. It's holding it, holding it, holding it. Boom. Yes, it did drop a little bit off, but uh, again, barely coming off the top end of that, it would ass over it. Now, you know, it actually will hold that, which is pretty cool. And then on these little steps here, it would always have some issues Let me get it you know it just plants it and holds it which is nice no excess tire spin and it just wants to climb so in my opinion you know this is this is a great mod for this rig I know I've seen a couple of the other rigs out there where they're going, you know, crazy comp style with these ones, and that's awesome. Me, I don't have any comp crawlers yet. I want to build one, but, you know, like with anything, just haven't gone around to it. <laughs> Maybe this winter I'll build one. See? No problem. It just grips and goes. I tried this again. Without the portal covers, when I had first gotten this rig, never in a million years would have gotten that one. So, uh, let me know what you guys think. If you have any questions or whatever, let me know. We'll catch you guys next time. Laters.